Hey, what's up everybody? Movie Cranks, Mike and Larry back again. Today, we got another trailer reaction for you, and this time, I'm pretty excited about this one because I actually enjoyed the last one a lot, and that's Rambo 5 Last Blood. Now, yeah. if you know anything about Rambo, we know pretty much he's unkillable, right Mike? He's, oh, yeah. he's, like, Jason, he's like the Jason Voorhees bloody. of action movies. Oh yeah, and the last one in the jungles, uh, it was just insanely bloody. When I went into that movie, I was expecting something so light and so disnified, <laughs> like where exactly. I thought it was just going to be PG almost. But he just started blowing people apart, <laughs> uh, using the arrows and the machine guns, and just it was incredible. I loved it. Yeah. So if you had to rate your Rambo movies, not all of them, but just What's your favorite one? What would you say? Oh man! I mean, first blood. Yeah, first blood. You got to go with I amazing. Think. Yeah. Because the scenes, the best parts of that one, I feel are like are him hiding in the forest yeah. with the cops chasing him yeah. and everything else. It just seemed that a little more down to earth, a little more realistic. And then they kind of started going off the grid a little bit there <laughs> for a few years. The Russian one was fun, yeah. too. I, I, it's, a, it's not a great movie, but it was a lot of fun. I'd say my so. number one is definitely First Blood, and then Rambo 2008 would probably be my second, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I mean, that one was really good. It's right up there. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm hoping Five takes some of the cues from those and you know goes with that i mean i i'll be super happy if it was at least good as the last one from the last one he was going back home and the last scenes of the movie are him going back to his old house yes and then yeah, it remember. just ended so we don't know what happened afterwards and we don't know <laughs> quite a lot about this one yet but we know that it involves him being a rancher and then something happens to him or his family and that involves the drug cartel and it's you know that's perfectly sounds like you know, a good a Rambo good, premise to me. Plot. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean that sort of thing happens. Yeah. So, I mean, I just I think we're gonna learn more from this trailer, even though it's like a teaser. So, you want to get it started? Yeah, let's yeah, get it started. Get... Then we'll talk about some of the details afterwards. Yeah. Rambo: Last Blood. Oh, Balboa oh, Productions. Yeah, yeah, he helped on this one. Yeah. I like the music. I've watched people I've loved die. Some fast with a bullet. Definitely sounding older. Yeah. Some not enough left to bury. Giving you that whole western vibe. Mm -hmm. Kind of give a western vibe. Yep. All these years, I've kept my secrets. Oh, there's the money. But the time has come to face my past. And if it comes looking for me, they will welcome death. I want revenge. Right till I can't no more. I like the look of that one. Looks like it's got a lot of practical effects and I'm 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 a little nervous because in the teaser it looks like he was shot up pretty bad. I'm hoping I'm hoping he doesn't well, die. But this is the last one. It's the last so. one. But have we ever seen Rambo? Has he ever been shot? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Probably a few hundred times, I imagine. Yeah. But I know I've seen him. I don't know. I've seen him in the movies where like they shoot a whole wall and they're shooting at him and then there's like an outline of bullets in the wall and him. he just walks yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and look at it some more in detail. You got him chilling in his ranch. Yeah, I like that. Great. I like that whole feeling. The sunset that that gave me. and you got the horses, you know, all yeah. that good stuff. But then it just jumps into him suddenly being in Mexico. Yeah, the way I understand, if I read it properly, is 
some lady I guess that he knows are from his town, the Mexican cartel, supposed to yeah. kidnap her daughter, and basically oh. he goes out for him. Yep, he becomes friends with the local hot Latino yeah. girl. Probably that may be the girl. Like that's that. probably the girl. Cause then, then the last one end with some girl when he was going back to that ranch or something. Or maybe, or maybe that's a remember. different movie. I don't remember anymore. I think you're thinking of Castaway. Yeah, I'm thinking of Castaway. <laughs> That's a, okay, that's a little different than Rambo. The part where he's in the barn with the uh, bow and arrow, and uh, that looks killer. Yeah. I mean, I love seeing him back in the true Rambo form, which yep. was him <laughs> with a bow and arrow. Exactly. I mean, and then Making his own he's weapons. He's got the trap. The, the trap where the guy opens the door to the house was fantastic. <laughs> did that shoot him right in the head? And I think yeah, I think it did. And I'm glad they showed that. It's kind of cool great. seeing him use, like, just regular, you know, lawn equipment to take out some that of these guys yeah, that he's <laughs> making he did have the the flames the the line of fire that he created like a wall to yeah. separate him from the cartel guys i mean all that looks really cool i mean there's not a whole lot that you can talk about with this trailer because it's not that long i can i can tell you one thing though those cartel guys they're, they're in trouble they're in trouble <laughs> Yeah, Sylvester Stallone, despite his age, is still... Oh, he's still jacked and everything. ...the consummate badass. Yep. I mean, um, and he doesn't go over the top. He doesn't do silly stuff in these movies like yeah. Rambo. It, well, there was a few serious. of those there. It got a little silly. But the last like yeah. the last one, that's why I liked the last one. Because it seemed like it kind of went back to last or first blood. And this one, if it, it follows that path, which it looks like it's going down that road. I think I'll like it. Well, I just meant with like goofy jokes yeah. and like that that light humor and all that kind of stuff. He exactly. waves that and just goes straight for the action, and yeah. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, the director, um, Adrian Grunberg, he's done. He's like an assistant on Man on Fire. Excellent Denzel Washington movie. If you haven't seen yeah. that, I highly recommend it. Uh, he also did the Gringo, which me and you kind of were. It was a. Uh... A little off on that one. He was involved in uh, Netflix's Narcos too, right? Mexico yes, and the yes, original. That's, that's what I was getting to, is the Mar Narcos Mexico and Narcos regular. So he's already got uh, a little bit of... Huge background. Yeah, he's got a background in all this, you know, Mexican drug lord cartels. Yes. I mean, he's he can been work working in, in the cities uh, and knows the trade, knows how the drug deals work and how they assassinate people, how they kidnap people for ransom, all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, he's well-versed in it. You know, and what I get the feeling out of this one a little bit too, Sicario. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, you, you can't help it. You yeah. see those stacked row homes on the mountainsides. Yep. You see the Mexican gunners with the, the machine guns and the drugs. It's Sicario. I mean, yeah. it comes out pretty loud here now i also want to point out to you if you haven't noticed some of the leading ladies in this uh oh, you know, has Vegas. i saw that when you sent that to me yes because we always go over these a little bit yes. before we get take some notes and he sends me yeah. some stuff on reich and <laughs> today i opened it up and i just see three <laughs> pictures of this incredibly hot latina females which is exactly what i like and i'm yes. like oh my god i'm gonna like this movie um, you got Paz Vega or Paz Paz mm -hmm. Vega, who's playing Carmen. Um, I didn't know this, but she, her dad, she was from Spain, and her dad was a bullfighter, which is incredible. I've never, you, you always think, you always hear about those guys, mm -hmm. but you never actually meet a person that knows one. Or, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, then you got Sheila Shaw, who's playing Alejandra. Um, and then also Yvette Monreal. Monreal. Yeah, that was, uh, that was my favorite being, one. Uh, oh, she's being Gabrielle. I don't know who those people are in the movie yet, but I can tell you he's got a very incredibly good-looking list of female <laughs> leads. I wonder if that was on purpose. You know when this one comes out? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I have looked that up on a separate site. This movie is coming out on September 20th in so, the United States. We got a little more time, probably a few more trailers yeah. to come. But this is a good start. People wanted to see this teaser. People are excited about it. Um, also, they should be excited by the fact we're at 1,000 people on Facebook almost. Yeah. We're like 50 away. Yeah. So we got a lot of fans that are great. We got a lot of people talking now and communicating with us. And I mean, we got people that 
give us positive feedback. We got people that call us shitheads. It's great. <laughs> I love it. And we're still we're still shooting for one thousand on YouTube. We got a while to go. We're oh, yeah. five forty four right now. Five forty five. Yep. So, we're moving there. I'll take six hundred so, right now, though. I'll be happy with that. Larry, um, do you want to take us out of here? Then we got yep. another one to do. I got it. We got one more to do. Uh, which one's the next one we're doing? The Dark Crystal. The that's Dark Crystal mine. Netflix. That's another yes. one I'm kind of excited about. So we got, we're going to be doing another one, Dark Crystal. So if you want to check that out, check that out. But until next time, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, help us reach 1,000. But until next time, see you later. Peace.